good morning cadets hope all of you are doing well so after long gap again i came with the recorded session i didn't got any opportunity to interact with you in the uh, live class in the ms teams today in this class uh, we are continuing with the previous video that is uh, components of our java program that is what the java contains that all things which we discussed in the last year last class identifiers what are identifiers what do you mean by literals that all things we seen in the last class literals me types kya kya integer literals or uh, string literals real literals character literals so these are the things which we seen mane uh, what that contains mane what the java program contains so i already classified that a java program contains uh, entire the program contains is uh, combined as a form as a tokens so the individual unit of your program every program contains some uh, individual unit of your program is called as a token these tokens are being classified into identifiers literals variables operators and command so identifiers are the um, names given which are to identify the different blocks of your program like uh, variables classes methods or functions etc so identifier matlab naming rules se mane variable kaise declare karna hai so class kaise declare karna hai functions kaise declare karna that all things are being given in the identifiers so literals are the actual work which we are working up and that is the actual data that we are will dealing with so they are being classified into four types that is we seen integer literals real literals um, character literals and string literals so integer literals are the literals uh, which contains only positive and negative values without a decimal point that you seen and uh, uh, lit real literals contains the uh, positive and negative values with decimal points okay then uh, then after you seen character literals character literals should be enclosed in the double quotes and the uh, and the character literals ke baad aap log dekha the string literals which are enclosed in the uh, 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 character literals the single quote uh, string literals are enclosed in the double quotes uh, which contains alphabets and numeric characters okay if if the if if the java contains the uh, single quote uh, letter then it is called as a character if it is contains in double quotes then it is a type of letter string letter so that we seen in the port in the previous video so if you are those who are missed pre go to that uh, video so today we'll discuss about uh, 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 basically we we'll discuss about about um, variables and the operators today okay variables and operators i told keywords are the uh, there are some reserved keywords in the java programs with they are having some special meaning which cannot be used for other purpose so identifiers name karte samme ye jo words hai that you cannot use it so java keywords jo tha wo to main aapko discuss kiya tha java keywords Uh, where are the java reserved keywords uh, yeah these are the some java reserved keywords which are displayed in this table so that you cannot use directly identifiers because they are having some special meaning to them okay so that you cannot use it so in this previous video that we discussed then the constants uh, constant means some the fixed values which do not uh, the constant means like uh, you know that uh, planck's constant aisa karke aap log to suna hoga so constant means the value which is fixed which do not change in the entire program or entire execution of the, your program so constants are enclosed in the like um, there may be real constant there may be string uh, integer constant there may be uh, uh, literal con uh, like string or character constants anything okay so the constants are the keywords where we, um, are the fixed values which do not change the entire execution of your program okay next we are discussing today operators okay operators and variable initialization yeah so variable means uh, which i already told so what is meant by variable you see a variable is a name and location in memory which stores data temporarily yes like in your mathematics what is meant by variable variable is a value whose value uh, a variable is some which holds the value which do not whose value is not fixed in the same way a variable is a name and location in memory which stores data temporarily so a variable has unique name type size which is used to identify in a program so it can hold one data at a time and can accept the different values during execution of the program सो so, जैसा कि सो so, स्टार्टिंग में एक वेरिएबल में ए में टू दिया था अगेन बीच में कहीं पे भी एक करके फोर करके दे दिया सो टू वैल्यू विल बी रिप्लेसड बाय द फोर इन द इन द इन आवर प्रोग्राम सो दैट हुज वैल्यू इज नॉट फिक्स्ड सो इन द सेम वे जैसा कि वेरिएबल्स आर द वैल्यूज हुज हुज वैल्यूज आर नॉट फिक्स्ड इन द केस ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स 
In the same case of the computer also, variable is a, a location in memory whose value is not fixed, so, so which stores the data temporarily only. Okay. Now, let us understand with this one example. See, area of circle is equal to pi r square, so pi into radius square, so pi into is determined as a star radius square. So in the above statement, if you see area of circle and rad are the two variables. So rad radius मतलब rad radius के लिए एक variable area of circle के लिए two variables. During the course of execution, we can find area of circle by entering the value radius. The variable rad will store the previous value of radius until we assign the new value. Hence, using variable we can easily calculate area of circle as many times we wish. मतलब radius value आप लोग starting में एक दिया था, फिर बीच में एक बार change किया था. So कितना बार आप change करते हो, उसके बाद value change होता रहेगा. So not only they are telling the variable rad, rad will store the previous value and uh, store the previous value radius until we assign it the new value. Okay, new value tak tab tak hai. So, the value will be changed hota rehata hai. How to declare this variable and how to initialize this variable that we see. How to declare and how to initialize it. So, in Java, each uh, variable must be declared, each variable must be declared before it is used in a program. In a program, you have to use a variable to declare. The variable declaration consists of two parts. This is very important. Please, uh, please be careful while uh, doing this initialization declaration. It is very important part. Hai. So please see it. So in Java, each variable must be declared before it is used in a program. So as you have to program the area of rectangle, area of rectangle calculate. Karna. Area of rectangle के हम लोग को क्या-क्या चरण पड़ता है? Area of rectangle store करने के लिए ये variable और to store the values of length and breadth L and B, okay? हम लोग के L L चाहिए, breadth चाहिए for the values to store the length and breadth. So in Java, each variable must be declared before it is used in a program. The variable declaration consists of two parts: the data type of the variable and the name of the variable which you are using. So here we concept here we got the concept called the data type. So what is this data type you see? So data type, एक है data type, एक और एक है variable name. So what is this data type? Data. So the above mentioned statements will declare the variables named as age, percentage, grade. So age, percentage, grade, age, percentage, grade जो है. So these are the variable names and these are the data types. So we can also declare more than one variable of the same data type uh, using the single statement by placing comma in between. मतलब एक साथ में दो तीन variables भी हम लोग कितना चाहिए n variables करके हम लोग declare कर सकते हैं, okay? So like this, int age, comma roll number, comma class. So uh, सारा जो variables that is age, roll number, class variables these are all belongs to the data type of integers only. This is the way of uh, declaration and initialize. This is the declaration part only. Initialization कैसे हम देखते हैं? So this is a declaration of your variable. A variable is a named location in the memory whose value is not fixed and whose value will be stored temporarily. So, so उसको declaration कैसे करते हैं? Syntax का syntax में तो rules. So data type followed by the variable name. So in examples they given int, age, percentage, float percentage, character grade. So एक साथ में हम लोग multiple variables भी use कर सकते हैं. Okay, clear? Next. We will see some of our data types. What are the different data types are available with us that uh, today now let's see. So they are, they are given the data types you see. I will show it. Uh, I am just zooming it. Wait for a few seconds. Yeah, data types. Data types are defined as the data storage format that a variable can store to uh, perform some specific operation. Each data type uses Java keyword to be characterized. To utilize maximum amount of memory, Java provides a large number of data types. The main data types in the Java is, I mean, Java jo hai, kya kya data type support kar rahe dekhi. So I told variable is a named memory location whose value will be stored temporarily. So now, so we see in the literals, literals se hum log jo hai, wohi aayega dekho. So integer type hai, data type, usko declaration kaise karta hai, int. So it occupies the size of 2 to 4 bytes, that is 16 bits to 32 bits. Okay, so these are some examples they given. Now, fractional part. So, integer में तो only integer parts accept होता है. So, if you want to accept the fractional part, that we use the data type called float or double. Float or double. So, float values will occupy the size of 4 to 8 bytes. Okay. So, float values, uh, for example, 45.89 like this, which are they shown. Then, char, character data type. 
so character uh, is uh, denoted by the char c h a r which occupy the size of two bytes and example is uh, single quotes mein a b c d aisa karke jaisa diya tha aisa ho next boolean so uh, boolean data type which accepts uh, size of one bit only which accepts only one uh, value that is either true or false either true or false so apart from this we are also having the long data type and also we are having the string data type so string data type hum log to uh, enclosed in the double quotes mein hoga okay enclosed in the double quotes that you seen in the previous class uh, in the literal part we seen okay now for example uh, in a b c so in the above example uh, variables a b c are the integer variables and separated by the commas that you see so wo to declaration hoga initialization kaise karna dekho initialization means the process of assigning values to the some variable so sim simply uh, declaration to pata chal gaya what we'll do data type followed by the variable name so data type followed by variable name is equal to value so in the given example see int age is equal to 15 float percentage is equal to some 86.f uh, so ye jo values hai so these we initialized the values of the particular variable so in the given example the first statement will declare the variable named as age of type int and initialize it with the 15 the second statement will declare the variable named as a percentage and type float and initialize it the value of 86.5 kaise hum log read karna hai so first statement mein age is of data type int and whose value is declared with the value 15 so like that we will do so okay, initialize it with the value 15 now so up to tak ye idhar tak hum log ka three parts dekh liya hai ek illiterals dekh liya ek identifiers dekha aur ek variables dekh liya now we are going with the next uh, type of token that is operator a token is the smallest individual unit of your program and a program mein jo bhi chota chota likh rahe na wo sara ko hum log five parts mein divide kiya gaya ek hai identifiers ek hai likha tha um, literals dekha tha ek hai dekha tha uh, variables dekha tha variable ka kaise declaration kaise initialization that we seen now uh, we are going with the one of the types of tokens that is operators so operators kya hote dekho operators so operators are the special symbols uh, uh, i think operators are the used like mathematical operators mathematical symbols only how they are classified that only they are discussing operators are the special symbols that are used to perform calculations okay they are mainly used to perform the calculations only that mathematical part only operators are applied to the variables and constants to form an expression they are applied to the variables and constants to form an Uh, expression to to form an complete expression matlab ye operators kis kis ko apply karte hain hum log hum log variables ko aur constants ko apply karte hain theek hai for example in the case uh, for example x is equal to y divided by 3 that is y by 3 so in the given expression so x and y are the variables and 3 is a constant and is equal to and the um, and the divided by or the operators yes this may mathematical operators kya kya hai is equal to and divided by or the operators x and y are the variables and 3 is a constant here y is a variable as divided by 3 using the division operators that is by and, and the result is stored uh, in x using the assignment operator uh, using the assignment operator result y by 3 jo value hai is stored in the x value with the assignment operator is equal to the basic operators used in java are defined by the following table so hum log java mein basic operators kya kya use hote dekho first one is arithmetic operators arithmetic operators are used to perform basic arithmetic operations such as addition subtraction multiplication division so ye to sabko pata hai ki arithmetic operators mainly use the addition subtraction multiplication division only so for example see operator they used the plus they applied the format of a plus b which is used to add the two operands of two variables so here they given if a is equal to 12 and b is equal to 4 we will get the value of 12 plus 4 that is 16 okay now relational uh, next one is uh, multiplication sorry uh, one more is there let me see subtraction bhi ho gaya नेक्स्ट वन इज सब्रैक्शन सब्रैक्शन तो माइनस में डिनोट करते हैं तो सब्रैक्शन इज डिनोटेड बाय द माइनस सो सब्रैक्शन इज डिनोटेड बाय द माइनस सो इफ ए इज इक्वल टू 12 एंड बी इज इक्वल टू 4 सो देन वी यूज द देन वी यूज द 
minus operator a minus b that is that is we'll get 12 minus 4 8 then multiplication operator that is star a star b this operator used to multiply the values of operators that is uh, if a is equal to 12 and b is equal to 4 then uh, 12 into 4 is equal to 48 so which we seen in the result then division if you want to apply the division operator that is uh, the operator used to divide the values of on one operand with the so one operand variable or operand is same so operand are the values which are applying to the operators okay so here a and b are the operands and division is the operator okay so 12 by 4 that is 3 you will get okay then modulus this is very important operator modulus a modulus b so 12 modulus 4 it will give the remainder value remainder value a modulus a modulus b modulus is operator which will give the remainder of your division so 12 modulus 4 that is 4 divides the 12 in the 3 times and leaves the remainder 0 so just like 12 modulus 12 modulus 5 so 5 divides 12 2 times and leaves the remainder 2 so 2 is the answer well if you give a is equal to uh, is equal to 12 and b is equal to 5 so in this way modulus is used to give the value of the remainder of your operator okay remainder of your operator next one relational operator relational operators are used to test the relation between the two variables so relational operators are the uh, operators which are used to test the uh, between the two variables ka relation matlab, less than hai, chota hai, bada hai ke mana, it will give the result of either true or false so document the one size of bit which we seen in our uh, data types mein, boolean data types okay relational operators are used to test the relation between the two variables A relational expression returns either the true or false okay think the operators are used to evaluate the any condition this may kya kya types of operators se dekho ek hai double equal to ek hai not equal to ek hai greater than ek hai less than ek greater than or equal to ek less than or equal to so these operators used to check the equality between the two operands so it uh, uh, equality jo hai equality between the two operands like it is checking whether both the variables or the both the operands are equal or not so to check the equality between the two operands we use the operator called double equal to so x double equal to 5 so 12 is here x value is 24 and y value they take it 8 so 24 is equivalent to 8 no it is uh, false so that's why they return the false now not equal to this operator checks the whether x and y whether the operands are equal or not that will identify so if it is not equal then it results the true if it is equal then it results the false okay not equal to symbol like in the in your mathematics not equal to is this one in the in the computer the not equal to is like uh, exclamation mark is equal to okay this is the not equal to so x not equal to y x not equal to y so that is 24 not equal to 8 yes it is true or false yes true so that's why it is written true so again don't confusion not equal to if if both the operands are not equal to then only it results the value true if both the if the both the values are equal then it results the value of false because as it is a not equal to operator equality operator so equality check karne ke liye hum log ko to x double equal to y check kiya tha x double equal to y mein Look, uh, we got the value as a false because both are not equal. Next, greater than symbol. This operator checks whether the first value is greater than the second value. But x greater than y. x greater than y. That is 24 greater than 8. Is it true? Yes, true. So, if it is true, it results the true. And if it is false, it returns the false. So, x 24 less than 8. So, less than, yes, true. 24 is less than 8 so no it is 24 is greater than 8 so 24 is less than 8 means false just greater than or equal to this operator checks whether the first value of the uh, first value is greater than uh, first value is greater than the uh, second value that is x greater than or equal to y so that is 24 greater than or equal to uh, 8 that is true so that's why it is the true value next less than or equal to this operator checks whether the first value is less than or equal to the second value that is 24 less than or equal to 8 24 jo hai so less than 8 ek hi nahi 24 less than equal to 8 24 less than or equal to 8 so it is false okay 24 is less than or equal to 8 it is false 24 is less than or equal to yeah, it is a false only next logical operators so logical operators is very important logical operators is very uh, programming language also okay logical operators are the used to logical operations which compare the result of the relational expression 
एंड गिव द रिजल्ट ऑफ द वैल्यू ट्रू और फॉल्स सो ट्रू और फॉल्स को रिजल्ट करके हम लोग को बताएगा तो लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स आर यूज फॉर बोथ बाइनरी एंड यूनरी ऑपरेटर्स तो जावा प्रोवाइड थ्री लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर दैट इज एंड और नॉट एंड और नॉट करके जावा जो है ऑपरेटर्स प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं सो इट इज अप्लाइड ऑन द बोथ यूनरी एंड दी अदर ऑपरेटर सो लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स में एंड और नॉट आएगा ठीक है एंड और नॉट एंड और नॉट What it is and or not? So and is denoted by the and symbol. Or is denoted by the double. Uh, uh, it is it is there in the enter button. का ऊपर में जो है, so forward slash का जो button है, forward slash का button का जो button है, that is or symbol. Okay. So and or not. So what are these operators? What it will provide? So clearly understood. Try to understand. If two operators are there and in between, if you apply the and operator. then both results if both operator 1 and operator 2 are true then only the resultant will be true so in the in the remaining cases it will be the false only so if both the operators are true then only the resultant is true so in the case of the remaining then we'll get the false only mane any one of the operator is false then the result is false so iska iska bare mein main thoda sa explain karne ka koshish karta hu theek hai let me open the uh, notepad Uh, uh, just I'll discuss this operator symbols. Okay, so what is this operators? This is your given in your textbook also. Okay, so try to understand from the textbook of page number one zero four and one zero five. So, a plug. Ah, I will make table. I will show. I will draw. Okay. So based on that, we will uh, we will explore these examples. So and operator. And operator. What is this and operator will do? See, and operator, like I am having the two variables a comma b, and if I apply the and operator between the two variables a and b, okay. Yeah, let's take the small symbols only. Don't be confusion. Two variables का बीच में हम लोग ये apply कर सकते हैं कि okay. टू वेरिएबल्स के बीच में हम लोग ए ऑपरेटर अप्लाई कर सकते हैं लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स टू परफॉर्म द लॉजिकल ऑपरेशन सो फॉर एग्जांपल व्हाट आई एम टेलिंग इज इन द केस ऑफ एंड ऑपरेटर इफ बोथ द ऑपरेटर्स इफ द बोथ द ऑपरेट ऑपरेंड्स आर ट्रू देन ओनली द रिजल्टेंट इज ट्रू इफ बोथ द ऑपरेंड्स आर ट्रू देन ओनली द रिजल्ट इज ट्रू इफ एनी वन ऑफ द ऑपरेंड इज फॉल्स देन द रिजल्ट इज फॉल्स लाइक इफ ए वैल्यू इज ट्रू इफ ए वैल्यू इज ट्रू And b value is false. Uh, if a value is true and b value is true, then only the result is true. Like uh, if a value is true and b value is false, so what is that condition? If any one of the operand is false, then the result is false. So true false may. So b is the false, then the result is false only. Then if a comma b, a and b. So like f and uh, if I write f and true. So any one of the. So here a is false, then the result is false only. Okay. Next, if I apply both the false, then the result is also false. मतलब ये and operator में क्या होता है? If two operators are, if two operands are true, then only the result is true. If any one of the statement or if any one of the operand is false, then the result is false only. So please try to remember. Okay. Next, or operator. Or operator कैसे होता है? देखो, or operator. Or operator. This is called or operator. Okay. I'm applying here a a b a or or b. Here, क्या है? वहाँ पे क्या है? दोनों operands और दोनों statements में दोनों true होना चाहिए तभी तो resultant true हो. Like any one of the statement is any one of the operand is true, then the result is true. Like uh, a is true, uh, a is true, a is true, b is true. So what is that condition? Or condition? Like a both the operands or both the statements, one true on us, it will be true. Hoja. So both are true, then the result is true. और ट्रू फॉल्स करूंगा तो ट्रू फॉल्स में दोनों स्टेटमेंट में एक तो ट्रू हो गया दोनों स्टेटमेंट में एक तो ट्रू है तो रिजल्ट इज ट्रू 
then true uh, false true then the result is true so dono statement may b is true then the result is also true both false hai but if both dono false hai dono statement false hai then the result is false so that is the condition in the or operator try to understand and operator or or operator or operator may upload ka both the statements may any one of the statement is true then the result is true here both the statement should be true then the result is true so true false may true true there is le true hai false true may uh, b is true that's why it is true that is the condition of the operator <coughs> or next not not operator not operator kaise dekh not is nothing but simply negotiation where we can apply to only one variable uh, like uh, i am having uh, i have taken a so not of a nothing nothing but uh, if i write true then it will become false if i write false then it become true okay That is simply. मतलब true not मतलब not true means what? Nothing but false only. So that only they are written. Okay. Not true means false. Not false means true. Simply negotiation we are applying. That is the not operator. Now based on this, now based on this operator logical operators which we seen. okay based on this logical operators which we uh, which are shown in this uh, uh, document so let us do this example you see uh, and operator so 5 greater than 8 and 35 greater than uh, 35 less than 25 so 5 greater than 8 is it true 5 greater than 8 is true no false so false hai. and operator mein dono statement mein ek false hone se hum log ka result kya hai false hai matlab second statement check karne ka zarurat bhi nahi hai तो so, 5 ग्रेटर देन 8 मतलब उधर ही फॉल्स हो गया तो so, दोनों स्टेटमेंट ट्रू होने से तो ट्रू है है कि नहीं तो so, दोनों स्टेटमेंट तो दोनों स्टेटमेंट तो ट्रू होने से ट्रू है बट तो, पहला स्टेटमेंट ही तो फॉल्स हो गया तो द रिजल्ट इज फॉल्स ओके नेक्स्ट और ऑपरेटर दैट इज 28 ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू 28 और 20 लेस देन 16 28 ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू 28 इज इट ट्रू यस ट्रू सो नेक्स्ट 20 लेस देन 16 20 लेस देन 16 इज फॉल्स सो ट्रू और फॉल्स सो ट्रू और फॉल्स में दोनों में एक ट्रू होने से काफी है सो द रिजल्ट इज ट्रू सो दे आर गिविंग द रीजन द फर्स्ट एक्सप्रेस इज ट्रू नेक्स्ट नॉट नॉट 21 इक्वल टू 15 सो 21 इक्वल टू 15 इज इट ट्रू नो फॉल्स नॉट फॉल्स मींस ट्रू ओके 21 21 21 इक्वल टू 15 इज फॉल्स सो नॉट फॉल्स नॉट फॉल्स इज नथिंग बट Not false. Not false is nothing but true only, na? So not false is nothing but true. So 21 is not equal to 15. That is why they are given the 15. So this is about this um, uh, uh, logical operators which we see. Then unary operators. Java is also known for the unary operators, which will work with the single variable only, which will either increase or uh, decrease the value, which is called as increment operator and decrement operator. So unary operator plus plus and the minus minus. This is a unary Uh, increment operator is unary increment operator so like a plus plus a plus plus a plus plus which are they are showing a plus plus is equal to written as like a is equal to a plus one so a plus plus is simply nothing but a is equal to a plus one only so for example if they given a value is eight then the result will be the a is equal to nine okay then decrement operator a minus minus that is a is equal to a minus minus then you will get the If a is equal to eight, then the result will be a is equal to a minus one. That is eight minus one. That is seven. So this is called as a unary operator, or the unary increment or decrement operator. Okay, unary increment and decrement operator.
that is today we seen okay unary operators and assignment operators assignment operator is also very famous operator so assignment operator which are used to assign the values to the particular variable so plus equal to usme kya kya type hai dekho assignment operator used to assign a value to the variable and the constant the variables are always on the left hand side and the assignment operator and the values to assign between the right hand side of the assignment operator so plus equal to so plus equal to that is uh, a is equal to a plus 1 a is equal to a plus 1 so that is called as an assignment operator okay a is equal to a plus 1 so that is written as a plus equal to okay a is equal to a plus 1 next a minus a is equal to a minus 1 that is you can write as a a is equal to a minus 1 okay a is equal to a minus 1 that is if they take in the values of a is equal to 8 and b n is equal to 4 then uh, values will get like uh, um, a is equal to a plus 1 that is 8 plus 1 9 a is equal to a, a minus 1 that is 8 minus 1 that is 7 now a, a star is equal to something they are given so a is equal to a star n so that is a star n that is uh, a value is 8 8 into 4 32 you will get so a divided by n so that is a divided by n you write as a, a is equal to a by n that is 8 by 4 that is used write as a 2 a modulus n that is divided by a 8 divided by 4 remainder 0 that is the written assignment operator clear a is equal to like we'll write a a plus a plus is equal to 10 it is nothing but a is equal to a plus 10 okay a plus is equal to 10 is nothing but a is equal to a plus 10 uh, like a minus is a a minus is equal to 2 that is nothing but a is equal to a minus 2 huh? next a star is equal to some n n value something you given then a is equal to a star n okay whatever the values you give then not only they are given huh? a a divided a divided by is equal to n which means uh, a is equal to a divided by n uh, next a a modulus a modulus is equal to n which is nothing but a is equal to a a modulus n done so this is the way we written here only the the way they, they shown so operator jo diya tha operator jo diya tha aur jo values jo dikha tha so both are same i think you see a is equal to a plus is equal to 10 mein dikha tha so a plus is a is equal to a plus 1 that is a mein 10 diya tha so that's why it is 10 10 so that's why a is equal to a plus 10 so okay next um, a minus is equal to 2 then you will get the a is equal to a minus 2 okay next if i write 1 a is equal to a plus 1 again if i write 2 ka place mein 1 likhne se you will get the a value as a 1 a minus 1 then a star is equal to n that is you will get as a is equal to a star n so whatever the n value if you take anything n may n kuch bhi ho sakte n b kuch bhi ho sakte okay next a star is equal to n that is a star is equal to n that you seen a modulus a divided by n you seen and a modulus n you seen so a modulus is equal to a a, a modulus divided by n okay clear a modulus divided by n then a a a divided by is equal to n that is uh, that is you seen a is equal to a divided by n so a divided by is equal to n that is nothing but a is equal to a divided by n so this is the operators uh, today we discussed uh, based on this operators i'll give the assignment so you i'm writing the assignment here only okay uh, you note down from this video only okay i'll copy in the google classroom also based on this operators only operators operators assignment if a is equal to 2 b is equal to 3 and c is equal to 5 then evaluate evaluate uh, evaluate uh, 
a less than a less than two and b equal to c what are the values okay that you do then a not equal to b and c c greater than b okay we have to calculate this one okay then a a greater than or equal to c and sorry or or not equal to or symbol a okay? not equal to equal to 2 greater than 5 greater than less than or equal to c okay so, so you get the values of this value using the logical operators clear okay will you do will you do these values these are very easy thing so till now what we discussed in the logical operators so that only based on this we done okay so try this uh, three uh, values what will get whether true or false also based on that and give the reason for that also so this is the assignment for today okay uh, if you get clearly you try to do it okay two greater than two is it true First of all, I will tell you, 2 greater than 2 is true, false. So, false, first of all, false, okay, so it's false, okay, output, next. Okay, like that, you have to do, how we done, okay. Do this uh, for the next class and upload in the Google Classroom, okay. I will catch you soon in the next video. Thank you, boys. Thank you. Stay safe, stay home, be prepared.